Welcome again. In addition to finding the linear range and evaluating the linearity in Excel, uh, you can also use uh, validation softwares. Uh, in the Valkrom validation software, where I have uploaded my data, uh, uh, I can evaluate linearity and uh, choose which guideline I want to do it according to. I have chosen Eurochem guideline here and the parameter uh, for validation is linearity. My concentration units are PPMs uh, but different uh, options can be chosen and also different units uh, according uh, to your system. I have chosen the uh, arbitrary unit and uh, we can move on to the next step. The Eurochem uh, guideline uh, has two uh, possibilities to prepare the samples for linearity evaluation. You can either measure blank sample plus reference materials or fortified sample blanks at various concentrations. Uh, but I have chosen that I have measured the reference materials or you can also uh, analyze fortified uh, sample blanks. And we can move on. Uh, I have previously uploaded data uh, and here are the general uh, Eurochem guidelines suggestions. Uh, the concentration levels should be at least six and evenly spaced across the uh, linear range that we have previously identified visually. And the linearity is evaluated based on visual inspection of the plot of residuals. And we have to pay attention to random distribution of residuals uh, below and above zero. And uh, if we see any systematic trends in uh, the plot of residual, then um, we can say that this indicates non-linearity. And uh, we can move on to the data. Uh, here are the concentration levels and the unit again which I um, chose previously can be seen from the slope unit. It's arbitrary units per ppm and the concentration units uh, corresponding signal values. Here you can see that there are three replicate measurements for each concentration levels. And I can also select if I want to uh, use any of the concentration levels. And now let's uh, open first the calibration chart. Here we can already see that um, the points don't uh, follow the linear line. And we can um, try leaving out the two, two of the highest concentration levels. Uh, for that I just have to unclick. I don't have to delete the data. It stays here and I can also use it later if necessary. And um, now that I have left the two concentrations out, uh, I'm going to save and reload the data. And uh, moving down, I can again open the calibration chart, uh, which is much better here. Uh, no significant deviation from linearity, and we can also now open the residuals chart. And here we can also see that the residuals are randomly placed below and above zero, and we can use our calibration graph uh, in this region from 0 0.2 to 1 uh, ppms and we can also see the uh, absolute residuals values here. 
So this was the short introduction to evaluation of uh, linearity in the Valcrom validation program. Thank <laughs> you.